Hey guys, it's Brennan, and uh, today I just want to show you some of the things that we've been working on for the helicopter app this past week. Uh, we've got three pretty slick new features that we've added over the course of the week, and I'm really excited to show them to you. Uh, so here we're, today I'm working on my iPhone, uh, White 4S, and we've still got that slick menu music that you heard before. Um, so the three things that I'm showing you today are, uh, one, we've added a scoreboard here at the top right that you can see up there, and that's implemented and, and working well. Um, then a really large thing that we've done is we've sized down the graphics in the game. So you can see the helicopter here is much smaller than it was originally, and these obstacles are also smaller. So this gives the user a lot more area to play uh, on the iPhone screen in the game, and it makes the game uh, actually a fair amount easier uh, to navigate through, and you just have more, more ability to, to move around and, and more space to do things in. The last thing that we've added is, was really fun. Uh, we've added a crash animation. So if you're flying the helicopter around uh, and you run into an obstacle or a cave element on the ceiling or something like that, you see this great explosion. Um, and I'll bring it a little closer so you can see that better. But a pretty cool explosion. Uh, so that's what we've been working on this week. Um, the game so far has become much more playable uh, just in the past week, having the, the graphics smaller and smoothing out and optimizing the game. Uh, we've got it to a pretty playable and really, really fun uh, kind of beta version here. And then in the next week, uh, some of the things that we'll be working on, we just contracted our buddy Andrew to do more sound effects for us. So we're going to have sound effects for the explosion, for the helicopter rotor blade spinning. Um, so you can look for, for some of those um, coming next week. Uh, then we're also, Ben is working on designing a couple more helicopters for us so that in our first release of the game you'll have two or even three helicopter designs to play with um, and that should give users some some more fun things to play around with um, and then lastly uh, Connor's going to be working on probably getting the high scores functioning and, and functioning well uh, for for our next week video preview uh, but that's it for today we're really excited about how the game is coming along um, it's really it's really looking good to us so far, and uh, we're almost ready to bring in beta testers on a, a, a version of the game to test the level of control sensitivity and the physics of the game. So once we do that, we'll let you know. But thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.